Ready? Happy Vlogmas Day 11. So I'm TNT. And I'm Ty. We are Wind Down Wednesday, if you guys are new here. Um, we also have a name for all of our subscribers. So if you're just joining us for the first time, you are, are a wine sewer, a wine connoisseur. Mm -hmm. So welcome. Let's bust and this down. And we're on day 11 of Vlogmas. Yeah, Miss. it is day 11. And we're enjoying ourselves. Even, uh, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> bust it wide open. Y'all know how we do. Tell them bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Hey, what we got? Dolcetto. Y'all didn't know I, was, I speak French, did y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is Adiamo Dolcetto, which is a 2020 from Italy. Hmm. And it is 12.5 alcohol percentage. Okay, hold on one second. Let me get the box. Let's get the box today. What is the box? All right, so it states in Italian, dolcetto means little sweet one. Oh, however, that's cute. however, as a wine, dolcetto is known to be a dry wine with lower levels of acidity. Mm. Our dolcetto hails from Piedmont, Italy, where this grape is primarily grown. Some say the people of the region wake up and have a sip of dolcetto just to start the day. I like them. And the tasting notes is rose petal, cherry, plum, and cocoa. I'm excited. You are drinking this with mozzarella di buffalo. I am so excited about this. Cherries and plums and chocolate. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. This dolcetto better not disappoint. But isn't this a French wine? It is an Italian wine. Oh, Italian, that's what I meant. Because I speak Italian and French and Spanish. I don't, but I'm working on Spanish. But let's do it. The color, you know what this color looks like? <laughs> it looks like raisins, like, if, like raisins. Yeah, like that little hint of brown. Yep, we got a hint of brown. Yep, like raisins. I can smell the chocolate a little bit. That's what that was. Because I'm like, this smells familiar. It's the chocolate. Oh, I'm geek. Let's go. I like this. I like this. Finally. Come on, in good taste. Now we're going to be on the hunt for more dolcettos for us to review for y'all. Mm -hmm. Because I like this one. This actually is giving me like... I, I cannot think of the name of the wine, but I've had a wine like this. And it wasn't a Dolce, though. It was like a Pinot or something. Mm. And I cannot remember. Mm. Do you remember where you were when you had it? No, it was just on the palate. And it finishes chocolatey. So not, so the finish. So you're not going to, I don't taste chocolate. The finish. So you know how it's like you drink the wine, it's all gone, and then you do like, with your mouth, it got that, to me, it got a taste like I had some chocolate. Mm -hmm. Not strong, though. It's subtle. Really subtle. Yeah. But I like it a lot. But it is smooth. Um, and it is, like, very, but I guess that's the cherry. Yeah, it, um, it's dry. And it's so dry. don't think you're about to buy this and it's going to be, like, it's got a lot of tannins. Like, this, these, whoo, these is, like, Merlot tannins. It's very dry. But it is delicious. I like this one. I would absolutely buy this in a full size bottle. I would too, depending on the price. <laughs> yeah, right now, In Good Taste has like majority of their bottles on sale for eight dollars. Go on the website. We have a link below. They didn't. They did not sponsor this video, but let's go ahead and give them their props because this is an amazing idea. One of the reasons why we went with In Good Taste advent calendar is because theirs is 24 different bottles. Some advent calendars do repeat and it was important to us to not repeat a wine because you know what we do here we're trying to present you guys with some things that you haven't had before. But um, yeah so I will buy it. It's, it might be eight dollars now go on there and check and um, Christmas question. Hmm. Because we're, we're doing the Christmas qu question so y'all can get to know us a little bit better through vlogmas. Christmas question. Okay. So, and this, I already know you're going to take a long time. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll try not to. 
So my question is, if you can describe your fairy tale Christmas morning, she's gonna tell the whole book. I'm gonna keep it cute. I'm gonna keep it sweet. I'm gonna keep it short. My fairy tale, fairy tale Christmas morning would be waking up in the bed with my husband that I am so in love with. And we, it was just like a really good night. We had the fireplace going, blah, blah, whatever. We just wake up and we just, you know, get up there. It's a great breakfast we have. We got our matching Christmas pajamas on that we slept in or didn't sleep in, but we put them on for breakfast. And we have this really good breakfast, but guess what? We didn't cook the breakfast. We had a chef in the kitchen cook the breakfast. And then we get, we eat our breakfast, get dressed, get ready for Christmas, put on some nice outfits and go, you know, get ready to go have uh, dinner with our family. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so mine, uh, for a fairy tale, it also starts pretty similar, waking up to my tall, dark, and handsome, hopefully he's tall, dark, and handsome. But if he's not, you know, whatever. If he's um, short, white, and ugly? No. But that's the opposite of tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> She said if he's not. <laughs> I was just thinking about the dark part. He could be low. He could be she light. Said he gonna be tall and black and handsome. Yeah. So, he could be he could be white, but he gotta be tall and handsome <laughs> at least. Okay. So waking up to that, waking up to him, I should say. <laughs> and then um us rushing downstairs to get everything prepared for the kids. Oh, they got kids. And um like you know, my parents used to always make it seem like Santa Claus came. So it was always things under the tree that wasn't wrapped. Or big things that was came out of nowhere because we seen the tree last Aww. night and it didn't look like that. Or it was stuff laid out on the couch. So us doing something like that to make the kids think that it's Santa Claus came. Because he had already ate the cookies last night and Aww. he ate this cookie last your story, night. Your story, <laughs> your story is like a Hallmark Christmas movie with black people. Yes, and then we call our kids down like, it's Christmas, wake up. And they run down, we watch them watch uh, Open Gifts, and then we just like drinking coffee and stuff like that. I want, I want kids to help us eat the breakfast that the chef prepared. Yeah, he didn't make Damn it. <laughs> See, that's how you know the difference. That's how you know the difference between somebody that got kids and somebody that don't got kids. I want children, but it'd be funny how my fairy tales don't include kids. Because you don't really want them. Ooh. Crotch fruit is not always what is practically. I love the lady that calls her kids. Her crotch fruit. I follow her. And one of her kids literally is like be on her. You watch her on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Her one kid, she be acting like she's scared of that kid. She that's the one that's autistic. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know her baby was autistic, but the baby be beating her up and snatching her food and stuff and she be like, like she terrified. I love her. I, I don't know your name on TikTok, but I love you and your crotch fruit. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you guys next time for Vlogmas tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, Merry Christmas. Are we Christmas. almost halfway there? We're getting there. close. We're getting close. Almost. Getting so close. hopefully you got your shopping done and let's finish out the rest of December and on to the new year. I just got a couple more gifts to buy. You done? I am. Unless oh. it's like last minute things. Yeah, I just got a couple more to get. Because I know what I'm getting everybody. I just have to actually get it. I know what I'm getting everybody, yeah. but the money just actually have to get there. <laughs> I know because let me tell y'all something. Mm. Cheers! <laughs>